In this video, we're going to see how to create circles and arcs inside of our 2D sketch environment. So here I have a new sketch started on a new part file, and we're just going to examine where our circle commands are at, as well as our arc commands. Up here on the Create panel, you can see I have a flyout of multiple circle commands, as well as an ellipse command. On the arc flyout, I have a three-point arc, a tangent arc, and a center point arc. So this is where we can find the tools we're going to be working with. We can also right click with our marking menu and choose a center point circle from there, which is the most common type of circle that we create. Once I choose that, I'll choose a center point for the circle and then a magnitude for how large I would like it to be. I could also type in a value to force a dimensional control, but for right now, I'm just going to click a random point to specify a circle creation. Right click and OK to approve that circle. To show the three tangent sided circle, I'm just going to create a few line segments here fast. Go up to my flyout for circle and choose tangent circle. Here I choose three lines to be my deferred tangencies. And then it generates the circle and keeps the tangent edges attached for me as well. If we were to look at ellipse, here we draw a lip center and a first access point and then a second point on the ellipse to define its magnitude. Next up with the arc commands, I'll start the three point arc. Here I'll pick a start point, the end of the arc, and then my third point will be a point somewhere on the arc to help me define the center point of this guy. Right click and OK, and there's my arc. Notice I also get a center point here because it is curvature, and I can use that for constraining. For instance, here I'll just move it onto the origin there, and now it's coincident to the origin at the same time. Looking at another type of arc, we'll do a tangent arc. So I'll pick a start point on this line here. It starts tangent to that, and I can create the remainder of the arc by selecting again. This type of arc we can actually create when we're inside the line command as well. I'll demonstrate. I'll start the line tool. Here I'll start drawing a line straight to the right. Now instead of picking some other point randomly, I'm gonna go back to the end point of that line. My dot will turn from yellow at the end to gray. When the dot shows gray, I can click and hold with the left button of my mouse and I can trace out the arc. Once I am satisfied with its size, I will let go of my left click mouse for it to create. And then it goes back to creating line segments once again. And you can see it creates a tangency to that initial curvature as well. Our last arc type here is a center point arc. So here I'll choose the center of the arc, then a starting point, and then an ending point. So there's a look at our circle commands as well as our arc commands.